All right, smelling good in the studio. In today's lunch break, we're checking out the Green City Market's annual chef barbecue event with Prairie Grass Cafe chef and owner Sarah Stegner. Chef Sarah, good to have you here. Thank so excited to be here. Yes, absolutely. So before we get into our recipe here, which is mushroom soup, tell folks who aren't familiar with um, Green City Market what what you all do and what you, you know, what you have been all about for, what, 25 years now? Yes, this is our 25th anniversary. Okay. And we're going to celebrate on September 5th at the Green City Market Barbecue. So that is 100 chefs that will be cooking to support these farmers. And what they're all going to cook food that's from the Midwest. So they'll be purchasing directly from the farmers and using what's in season. The market has been there for 25 years in Lincoln Park. Okay. And it opens at 7 a.m. and then goes to 1 o'clock. And it's on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And we also have one in the West Loop. Okay, awesome. And so we've got some video for folks to see right now. And this is from, I believe, uh, last year's event. Huge turnout. Um, great Huge. food, you know, and so as you were mentioning, you have um, farmers markets on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Yes. And just describe again, and for folks who don't know, these are farmers who are coming from the Yeah, they're, they're all third-party certified. They have farmer representation at the market, so there's somebody you can really talk to about growing practices. We accept SNAP, and we do a two-time matching, which I'm really proud of. Our budget was $375,000 wow. annually for that. So that's something wonderful. Wonderful. The executive director, Mandy Moody, has really cultivated. Absolutely. So uh, it's it's a great organization, and it's a lot of chefs shop there. The produce, you can see what's right in season now. There's a lot of heirloom varieties. Mm -hmm. There's peppers and tomatoes right now, and corn. It's all about corn. I'm going to show you the mushrooms. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get the to mushrooms that. are from River Valley Ranch. Okay. You have to saute them in salt and pepper and olive oil and add onions. Okay. That's basically it. A beautiful so it's pretty stock. simple. It's pretty simple, <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to pour this into a blender, and you do need a blender. I'm not going to make the whole thing because I don't want uh, okay. to make a big mess here okay. in the studio. <laughs> I'm adding just a little bit of butter. I, You know, I don't think you need to have uh, cream in, in the soup unless you want it to be really rich. Okay. Always cover your top because you don't want it to... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't want to make a mess. You don't want to make a mess. Okay. And as I was mentioning to you earlier, this is reminding me of, you know, fall was right around the corner. We're making soup, so, yes. you know. Okay, I'm going to buzz it quick. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. And so this is the dish that you served last year. This is the dish the that I served market. last okay. year. I, I wanted to show that this is a really simple thing that can be absolutely delicious with all Midwestern ingredients. The goat cheese um, it, you can get at, at the market from J2K, and uh, I also buy Capriol Farm. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that, and then uh, a little bit of the oil, which is made with herbs. Oh, nice. So it kind of shows off what's in your garden if you have parsley and cilantro and that kind of thing. Okay. The fritters, yes. that's what I'm serving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about those. Yeah, they're beautiful. It's a beautiful corn puree. And I, I serve it with this butter. Okay. And it is, I wish everybody could taste this. It is amazing. The corn is so sweet. I just add a tiny bit of butter and salt. So you put, the, love it. You put that on Take the corn and fritters. Dip it and it's so good. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully after this segment, I don't want to make a mess. But <laughs> And again, there's 100 chefs. There's Paul Verant, Paul Cahan will have one-off restaurants there. And you were mentioning that this is not just people coming out and eating and having a good time, but it's for a good cause, right? Lots yes. of different projects that Green City Market is involved in. A lot of education that goes on and why it's so important to protect our farms and to support the community of farmers that and, and have that market viable. Okay. So, and yeah. in terms of ticket costs, folks can find that online. Yeah, it's all on the Green City Market website, and you guys have all that information. Yep. I also want to do a shout-out to Verzane. It was a beautiful pastry shop that is at the market, and she'll be having, like, a, bu a, bu a blueberry item there. Okay, so. awesome. And we have uh, just a little bit more time. Talk to us about your restaurant that's in it's, Northbrook. Yes, I, I'm actually, I have the fritters on the menu, okay. and we serve the mushroom soup regularly. Um, I buy from a lot of these local farms, and that really drives my menu and the seasonality of it. 
and it's in Northbrook, and we've been there 20 years, so awesome. we're coming up on an anniversary, too. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Chef Sarah, for joining us, showing us how to make this mushroom soup, introducing us to the corn fritters, which you'll be serving in just a few weeks. Yes. All right, and so tickets are still available for the September 5th event. Again, it's the Green City Market Chef Barbecue. You can check out all of the details at greencitymarket.org, and check out the Northbrook Restaurant at Prairie Grass Stock Cafe. Thank you.